For years, Cecile Goff has had crippling joint pain, headaches, and other issues. Yet only last year did she learn from a California lab that she had chronic Lyme disease. That knowledge frightening, but also welcome. Finally, she knew what was wrong with her. It's tough. It's tough because you constantly feel like you're beating your head against a wall, that, that no one is listening. And um, you know there's something wrong, but you don't know why. It's no mystery how ticks carrying Lyme disease get to Canada. Here's a tick on a bird. John Scott is a scientist who began researching ticks after he and his wife got Lyme disease more than 20 years ago. They're not cured, but between bouts of ill health, he's at his microscope in a spare bedroom, squinting at the creatures that changed his life. Spent a lot of time in bed. I've watched a lot of clouds float by the window, trying to find my way through it. But the tick research has really helped to motivate me and keep me, um, give me a purpose uh, to figure out what's going on. Among his findings, dozens of areas in Canada could have tick populations that could carry Lyme disease. Even here in a park in the middle of Canada's largest city, there are risks. This is the perfect habitat for ticks. Yet the question remains, why isn't this country taking the disease seriously enough? Most doctors here don't believe in chronic Lyme disease, just a short-term version that requires early diagnosis. Detection methods in Canada often miss it and aren't trusted in Europe or much of the U.S. Many Lyme patients here go abroad. The patients started finding me. Canadians would find me. I was working in a walk-in clinic and I left to open up my own practice, which I didn't think was going to be very big. And now I have over 1,700 patients and I'd say 95% are Canadians. New research has found that climate change could be bringing more ticks to Canada and theoretically more Lyme disease. The scientist behind it hopes governments take his findings seriously. The burden on the Canadian public health care is going to increase in substantially. Remember, this one has long-term chronic uh, consequence. Canada's parliament recently passed unanimously a bill calling for a national strategy on Lyme disease. Some high-profile cases like singer Avril Lavigne have also concentrated minds. Canadian health authorities are making changes, but the country still lags behind others in its approach to a looming threat to public health. Daniel Lack, Al Jazeera, Toronto.